Good afternoon, everyone. Let's start with, thank you, Said. I think that was you. Is that you that said good afternoon back? No. Thank you. <laughs> Even if it wasn't you the first time, thank you. <laughs> let, me, let me start with some brief comments. Uh, today, the United States assumes the presidency of the United Nations Security Council for the month of August. Among its many responsibilities as president, the United States will set the agenda for the Security Council. And for the third time in as many presidencies during the Biden administration, the United States will draw attention to food insecurity. Roughly 345 million people face acute food insecurity. One of the primary causes for this is conflict. For example, after Russia launched its full-scale invasion of Ukraine, wheat prices spiked to near record highs. The Black Sea Grain Initiative helped bring prices back down, but after Russia terminated its participation in the program, wheat prices rose again by 17%. To highlight this topic, on Thursday, Secretary Blinken will chair a high-level open debate in the Security Council focusing on famine and conflict-induced global food insecurity. The United States will also highlight another Biden administration priority, the protection of human rights and fundamental freedoms. As you may know, the, United, uh, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights was drafted almost 75 years ago. And to commemorate, th to commemorate that milestone, we will elevate human rights at every opportunity throughout the month by including voices from civil society in the Council's meetings. The United States will also provide over a full agenda in the Security Council featuring regularly scheduled meetings outlined in our planned program of work. The world is looking to the UN Security Council to fulfill its mandate of maintaining international peace and security. The United States is committed to real progress during our presidency and carrying that progress into the upcoming General Assembly. And with that, go ahead.